What's up, world? It's your boy, Big Hurt, back in the kitchen once again. What's up to my big fan? How are y'all doing today? And we're back in the kitchen cooking up another dish, y'all. But first, if you're here watching this video, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me right down up under the video. Hit subscribe. And then the bell right beside it, hit that bell and hit all so you'll be notified every single time I post a video. And you won't miss out on none of these recipes, you hear me? And hit that like button. The like button is the thumbs up button. And if you hit that like button for me, YouTube shows these videos to a lot, where well, it suggests the video to a lot more people. So, I'm asking y'all to hit that like button for me so my videos can get suggested to other people. And go ahead and join the big fam, y'all. And we're going to get right into it today. We got some ground beef cooking up. And today we're going to be making some broccoli casserole. And we're starting off with like a pound and a half to two pounds of ground beef. We're going to get this browned up. We'll be back to show y'all the rest. Yeah, yeah. All right, we're back and we got the ground meat browned up. Now we got our broccoli in the pot and we're gonna steam this up a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're gonna turn the fire on a medium high. We got a little water we're gonna pour in there. Not too much, because I already got water in the broccoli. I'm gonna cover that with a lid. And when you see it steaming, you can check it. See if it's tender enough for you. We'll be back when it's done. Hey y'all see how it's steaming real good? And make sure when you open your pot, you just open it that way, so you don't burn yourself. Check it. See if it reach, reach the desired softness that we want. You see the little water that come out of the broccoli. You don't want to lose that. So what we're gonna do? That's gonna be part of the little sauce, and it's just about tender as we want it. So now we're gonna cut up couple slices, couple pats, or whatever you call it, of butter, about three. And we're gonna put that in there and let it, let that melt down together. Now we're gonna add our butter in there. Now we're gonna add a little salt. Not too much. We're gonna add some black pepper. Do it to your taste. I like black pepper. All right, gonna let that steam down. Mix it all together real well. We'll be back. All right. Now we've gotten to our desired texture. And yeah, I got my rice over here. Finna start boiling. Yeah, I'm using some. Uh, Balling bag rice today. Yes, sir. Make it easy on myself. See, the broccoli is tender. All the water in just about to start. So now we're going to add a can of cream of chicken. Stir that real round real good. Oh yeah, and turn your fire down low, low, low now. Turn it down real low, just to keep it warm. And so it can melt this cheese, cause we finna build this sauce. Get you some velvet, a block of Velveeta, or some so easy cheesy, or some commodity cheese, whatever you wanna use, get your block of cheese, and cut you up enough until you the, desi the desired 
cheesiness that you want. We're going to add it to the pot with this. And we're just going to build everything in the pot. When the rice get done, the rice going to go in here with, with the broccoli and the cheese sauce. And we're going to get our ground meat. We're going to put that in there also. Mix everything together. See if we need to season any more season. And then we're going into the casserole dish. Top it with cheese and go into the oven. But y'all gonna see the process. I'm gonna chop up this cheese and get it in the broccoli so I get this sauce going. You know what I'm saying? And it can get all merry and delicious and bubbly, all good and yummy together. And yeah, and we'll be back. Now I cut up a couple blocks of cheese and I put a little bit of the sharp cheddar in there also. I'm just mixing it in real good. Wait for the rice to get done and we're gonna mix that in there. All right, y'all, we got the cheese all melted up nice. So we're gonna go back in the pot with the uh, ground beef. So we can season it a little bit. And you can have this as a, just a one pot one. You can leave everything in this pot and just eat it like that. I done done that before too. They were making the casserole. You gonna hit it with a little bit of slap your mama. Just a little bit. So you mix this all up good. The next thing we're gonna add is the rice. All right, y'all, I got that ground meat down in there. Got it seasoned and got it all mixed in well. Now we're gonna go in with our rice. Like I told y'all, I'm using a boiling bag rice today. Make things go along quickly. Get more fun enough. We're gonna mix this in real good. And then we'll be going in the casserole dish. Well, you gotta taste it after you add all this rice, too. You might have to add a little more season. This rice gonna soak up a lot of it, too. We'll be right back. Back, y'all. Got y'all set up. Mm -hmm. Right here, this pot. We're just gonna dump all the mixture in, the, in this pan. Alright. 
top it with some salt cheddar. about 10 15 minutes and I'm gonna cut me a piece in this grub time you heard me so until next time be heard on the checkout yeah yeah pressure pressure